55 seconds. So in this instance here, this here would be your minimum completion time, where you follow C to D to E to F to G and 155 seconds. And it doesn't really matter because A doesn't rely on anything and E is relying on both B and D so you can use either B or D to move on to that next task. What we're going to do right now is, I want to show you what a dummy link is. So I'm going to raise this a little bit now and then put up a dummy link so you can see what it is we're doing. So looking at this here, we have another precedence table. Now, on your notes that you have that are attached to your emails, it talks to you about what a dummy link is. So a dummy link is when two activities have a common prerequisite they rely on, but only one of those activities has a secondary prerequisite that the other one doesn't. So by looking at this here, this is where your dummy link lies. These are the activities that have the reliability of a common prerequisite, and it's only D who relies on B as a secondary prerequisite. So when it comes to this, you can generally tell when you have a dummy link. Another one here could be where, for instance, if we didn't have, um, just say we had B there, but this here relied on A and D, <coughs> this still is a dummy link because both E and C are relying on A, but only E relies on D by itself. But for the example here, we're going to be using the C and D as your activities that rely on A and only D rely on B. Now, I'm going to go drop a network and show you what it looks like without the dummy link, and then we'll look at it with the dummy link and see how dummy link makes it more clear and makes more sense of the question. So if we had our, our sync node there, remember that these two represent independent activity, so therefore they're going to be independent arms coming off from your north source node. So we're going to call that A, we'll call this B. But let's look at it in this case where we're assuming that both C needs A and B. So if we did something that looks like this, for instance, Put B here, and then we had C come off and D come off. Well, that, that's correct. That's correct for the fact that that's what D has. It relies A and B, and, and C relies A. But because B is connected to this at the same point, it's also saying that C relies on that B as well. So this is where a dummy link comes into play. Down here, we'll do the same network where we'll have A and we'll have B coming through. When it comes to this, generally what you want to do is you want to end both of them at the same time because they're both being relied on. The one that relies both of them, that's the one that you will put on your link down the bottom. So down here, we're going to put D here and we'll put C up here. I can see we're going to look at this and go, well, D has no connection to A right now. So this is where the dummy link comes. In your notes, a dummy link, well, that's what represents a dummy link. So a dummy link is represented by a dotted line with a connection. So in this case, we're going to have a dummy line thing from A coming down to D. What I want you to think about how this works is think about pipes and water. So, D needs a connection from B and A, so therefore, and C only connections A, so therefore the water is coming from A, it comes down to D, so it has water from B and A. Because it's only going in this direction, water can't come back up, so therefore C can't connect to B. 
The dummy network allows that to say, well, we need a connection from A through to B so D can actually show dependence on that. And that's what the dummy network looks like itself. Once we've done that, we then can start looking at um, the next part. Well, the next part is saying that D rely, um, E relies on D. So we can finish off D here and start our E up. Now, what's interesting here is there's no reliance on C anymore. However, we can't leave your network open like this. So anything that is still left open, we have to bring back to a finishing point. But nothing's relying on C in this case, so we don't, it doesn't make too much difference. And then we have our now we now have a correct network that makes sense with this precedence table. If, for instance, I had something that looks like this, that is not a dummy network. It's not a dummy link because they're both relying on both of these equations. So that's something that would look like this. Okay. But in this instance here, they have to have a prerequisite of the same activity, and only one of those activities that require the prerequisite has a secondary one that's different. And that's dummy links. So remember, have a go at your questions on in your textbook on 12.81, 12 12 page 233, and 12.8.2, page 335. And if you have any questions about it, just please email me and I'll, I'll get back to you and that stuff. Okay.